Welcome back to JavaScript Competency Center channel. Uh, it's one and AI cookbook. Uh, simple examples how ChatGPT can help you with your working routine, uh, daily tasks. And today we will talk about how to create a simple Node.js server. Sometimes uh, we need to implement mock server while we're waiting a real one uh, server from backend side. Okay, let's start. Let's ask ChatGPT to implement simple Node.js application uh, with current operation for products based on the following interface. Also, let's ask him to provide detailed instruction for implementation. So, now we can see step-by-step -step instruction uh, with code snippets and let's try to run them in terminal and see results. First, create new directory for project. Okay, uh, then initialize Node.js project. Let's copy, paste it. Okay, uh, after initializing, we need to install packages, uh, express and body parser. Okay, done. So create JS file for application code. Okay, let's copy code for app.js. Uh, paste, oh, sorry, not in terminal. Let's paste it into uh, app.js file. Okay, and now we can run. But before, uh, let's move to application directory. Okay, uh, let's check in points. Uh, product. And we can see empty result. So let's uh, generate mock data. Uh, ChatGPT generated uh, mock data, uh, but with invalid uh, image URLs. Let's uh, clarify and ask uh, use mock server for, for URLs. Okay, uh, now let's copy this code to existing file. Okay, paste, uh, move it after initializing products. Okay, so let's check. Uh, we can see list of products, uh, 10 products. Uh, let's check getting product by ID. Let's use ID equal one. So we can see product with ID one. Uh, let's use ID equal 10. Yeah, it works well. That's it for today. Uh, just uh, a few minutes of your time and you have learned how to create simple Node.js application uh, by helping ChatGPT. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please make sure like it. Uh, leave your thoughts and questions in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe uh, to our channel to keep up with our latest videos. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy coding!